decisions were made. I just want to put it out there. Decisions have already been made. Don't judge me for the purchases that I've made. Been through some things. people welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine if you're new here welcome we hit a milestone everyone on september 4th i hit 100 subscribers thank you thank you thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel thank you for everyone who's supporting thank you for everyone who's watching even the people who are watching and not subscribed i'm not judging you i'm not judging you you could you could join us though you know hit the subscribe button and then you know turn on your post notifications come back and watch the video you're watching the video anyway join us and we can grow and continue to grow on to the next goal we're on a road to monetization and um after you hear this story you'll understand because we're talking today about my credit card debt. I have seen a lot of videos talking about how people have paid off their debt. Not my testimony, but I think it'd be helpful for everyone if I tell you about how I got into credit card debt, how I plan on getting out of credit card debt as it's actually happening, and then all of you can keep me accountable as well. This episode, we're gonna talk about how I got to over <laughs> $20,000 in credit card debt. I like look back now and I'm like, how did this happen? And then I like wrote everything down of like how this happened. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So this episode, we're gonna talk about how I got into debt. And then the next episode of this series, we're going to be talking about how I plan on getting out of debt and things that I'm doing to get back on the path of building that credit score, baby. We trying to get the club a honey. You could help me also get out of debt, you know, like, subscribe, share the video. I don't care if the world knows about my dumb purchases. The, the purchases have already been made, so like really, what are they gonna say to me? So I took some notes, I wrote it down so that I could fully explain to you guys what, what happened, how we got here, but also how we're gonna get out. <laughs> we're gonna get out of this, okay? My first credit card, like a lot of people, I got in college. So I had a $500 limit. Let me tell you what happened, basically just to get a credit on my phone bill to make it cheaper so i can get my iphone i'm not even with that carrier anymore and that was an experience but that's for another day but yes yeah, so that's when i got my first credit card i didn't really use it that often smarter decisions back then i really didn't have any expenses though like i didn't need to use a credit card everything i had i could use on my debit card or if i had my credit card i was able to pay it off fully that was my first credit card so five hundred dollars five hundred dollars we're gonna keep a tally of my balances because when I tell you how much credit I have versus how much was being used yeah so after that in college I <laughs> I'm someone who liked Victoria's Secret I don't really go there anymore but I have a lot of Victoria's Secret items and I used to go but I would never get the reward points so then I signed up for the credit card because I would already go there and buy the stuff and then I was able to get rewards I was able to get free stuff I was able to get more discounts I was able to do that I also we didn't have a problem here. Didn't have a problem with Victoria's Secret because like I said, I was already going. I was able to fully pay that card down. My credit limit for that card started at $750. That is how much money I had. And then it went up to a thousand. Then it went up to 1500. Then it went up to 1650. February, 2014, when I got the card. So at this time I have two cards. My balance was only 750. Now today it is at 1650 so please, please don't be me please don't be me the next credit card i got was on valentine's day in 2014. now this particular valentine's day i had just went through a breakup if you watch my um college entanglements video you'll know that i went through a breakup around a holiday in december so I was getting over that. And for this Valentine's Day, since I wasn't gonna get a gift from anyone else, I decided I wanted to buy myself a gift. And what did I wanna buy myself? A MacBook 
Pro. Now, I am not regretting this purchase at all. My MacBook is what I edit all of my videos on still to this day, that same MacBook that I bought in 2014. It was a great investment. And then I don't know if you're like me, every single time I get a credit card. Cause majority of the time when you sign up for a new credit card, you get a promotion where it's like no interest for 12 months, no interest for 24 months. This card was one of those. So it was like no interest for 24 months. So then what I do <laughs> at that, time is I'm like, okay, so that means that I need to pay this amount every single month to pay the debt off, divide up the total by the number of interest months, 24 months. How many payments is that? Can I afford that? Of course. Let's do it. Let's do it. Got my MacBook retail therapy. I mean, it's, it's clearly my thing. <laughs> I had a really good credit score at the time because I was paying off my first two cards fairly easily. <laughs> so I had a really good credit score. I was able to get approved, got the MacBook, started making payments. We're good, okay? Then I lost my job. I didn't have to save it. I wasn't able to save up three months worth of spending. I mean, I was able to, I just did it. I was using my credit card to pay for my monthly expenses. Luckily, I was laid off on like a Friday. I was able to get a job the next like Wednesday, I believe, but I couldn't start that job for like a month. So I was able to like go home. You know how you save money on groceries? let someone else buy them for you. <laughs> That's where we started to go downhill. It was only a month, like, and I was home. Like, what I need to buy? Not that much stuff. Really, not that much. Honestly, probably not $500 worth of stuff, but we did it. It happened. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Unless you absolutely need it. But then actually stick to your payment schedule. The next card, my family uses Pet Boys for like, affordable car services. So we have a card for that. My limit for that card was $1,500. I'm pretty sure it was like $1,500. Right now it is like over 2,000, like 2,300. My car would break down and I would use the Pet Boys card to fix it because I was struggling college student and working a part-time job at a fast food restaurant and I needed a car. <laughs> so there's that. This was back before like Uber and Lyft was like super popular I feel like because I don't feel like I started using Uber and Lyft until like my senior year, really. Then I got PayPal. So, remember when I said waste of time, energy, and money? Money, okay, yeah. You'll know where I was relationship-wise if you watch that, and then this is where I was financially. Bought a lot of stuff on this card that wasn't even for me, that I didn't even see. For me, PayPal was just online. I didn't have a physical card. I know now they have the physical card. My balance for PayPal currently is $3,800. Um, that's how much money I have to spend. It's $3,800. I think it started off as a thousand and now I'm at 3,800. It's okay, we're gonna get better, it's fine. So PayPal I got in November, 2016. And then in 2017 is when I moved to the Bay. Hey, because I got a job an adult, I had benefits, but the dentist is expensive. I needed fillings, a lot of them. I got the care credit card. After my first year working with benefits, I ended up paying into an FSA, so then I have that money to spend. Wish I knew that about that earlier, but before that I had a um, care credit before I had an FSA and I would run out that card on dental charge. Literally that was it. My copay I could pay, but the dental expenses, nah. And then I also have two dogs and all of their vet veterinary bills that are like, if you have a pet, you know how expensive vet bills. I went to the emergency room and it was a thousand dollars for my dog, bro. Majority of that stuff is like pop-up stuff. It's not stuff that I'm like able to plan for. There's just like, emergencies. My limit on there now is almost $5,000. I think it's like $4,500. Are you keeping it? Keeping, keeping it, Sally? And then in that same year, 2017, I moved. Now, we could have taken our furniture, everything except for the couch. The couch had fleas. I will stand by that. But I want new furniture. I will take full responsibility. Again, I'm good at knowing what I did wrong, okay? So we went to living spaces. Let me tell you what we bought, okay? I, I love my furniture, still have the furniture, still have all of this furniture, by the way. Haven't bought new furniture since then, 2017. I feel like I'm doing okay, it's almost three years, right? Except for the fact that I'm still paying for it, but 
We'll talk about that. I got a new bed, new couch. Like I said, that other one had sleep. New dining room table, a new coffee table, and a new rug. It had a 24 months, no interest. I set up the payments. I knew it was like, okay, this is how much we are going to pay on top of the extra rent that we're gonna pay. I still have good credit at this time. I had high balances, but I always made my payments on time. That's the thing. So I still had really good credit. And I was trying to keep like all of my cards under like 50% at the time. I was able to get approved for like 3,000. Actually, I think I was able to get approved for like $5,000 at Living Spaces, but I only used like half of it. So the 24 months came and went and um, we still had a balance. So there was that. Then, okay. So I'm 26 years old, 26. When I turned 25, I said, this is my YOLO year. My YOLO year, was something that I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to go on a trip every single month. Um, some things got thrown off track just a little bit. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, so I knew I wanted the card. I got approved for the card. It was an $8,000 credit limit. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be more than enough. I don't need $8,000 to do everything I want to do. I'm able to still make those payments because I had gotten a promotion recently. I was still able to make the payments or so I Oh. So January, my parents had recently moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, and my sister was there with them. So we went for her birthday. We were able to go to Disney World. I flew to Orlando. That was really fun. For her birthday, I also got us a trip to London and Paris. Paris. This is my thing on Instagram. You know how you be seeing people traveling around the world. And I'm like, are you in as much debt as I am? Is that how you're able to be gone all the time? So we went in March to London and Paris. Now, I got back from Paris and then I think like two weeks, three weeks later, I went through a breakup. I went into like a very, 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 very sad time. And I did not want to be home. I was like super sad for a good like two and a half months. So that was in the at the end of March. So by June, I was like, I'm planning trips. I'm planning trips. I planned a trip to go to Arizona to see my best friend. I planned a trip to go to Vegas with my sister in August. I planned a trip with my mom to go to Hawaii. I went to Disneyland and then I went home for Christmas that year. So in total, I took about eight trips because I was like, I can't be home. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not confronting my feelings right now. I am going to spend money. So all of that, all of those trips, every single one of them put on the Capital One card. Was making payments. Not enough to pay it off one trip before the other, but I was making payments. So that was my last card. So if you're keeping track, that total brings us to $26,000. Total available credit. Now I submit to Credit Karma. At the worst point, my credit utilization of this was about 74%. You're supposed to be at around 30%. Going back, I would obviously do things differently. However, I don't got a time machine, baby. I would be back in 2014 if I did. So in the next video, I'm going to tell you guys how I plan on getting out of this. I'm not at this number anymore. <laughs> Comment down below if you have any questions about my credit card journey. If you wanna judge me, you can judge me a little bit. It's fine, like I said, decisions have already been made. So, but it's okay, cause we're on the road to recovery, okay? We're on the road to recovery and that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, okay? It's gonna be fine. Give me some tips down below. Like I said, I have a plan, but let me know if you have some other tips. Let me know, let me know if I can get out there faster, okay? Let me know. Comment down below if you were able to relate to the story. Let me know. Like this video if you liked it, share this video with someone who may or may not be applying for credit cards don't let them be me don't let them be me subscribe to the channel i think it's over here i'm pretty sure i got this down now mm. follow me on instagram jasmine chronicles and we will see you in the next one bye beautiful people to turn off my AC because it is 97 degrees.
Out. <laughs>